Hi Heather, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Now, we had a real roller coaster with you as a franchisee. Tell me your story and when you joined up with me, um, when was it and how you've been going since then? Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Of course, yeah, it has been up and down. I'm okay at the moment. Um, so, obviously, as some of you know, I inquired about being a franchisee probably, what, back April, May last year? Yeah. Um, obviously, I came up to your book launch, wasn't it? The Rescue Book. The rescue book. Yeah, Rescue Book. I wanted to see you face-to-face to see what it was all about. Because um, my gut feeling was I wanted to go for it, but I was just scared, you know? And that, it, it was... It's, it was a big step for me. I'd only just sort of qualified as a gym instructor. So anyway, I came up and met you, and all the way home, I was thinking, oh, I've got to do it, I've got to do it. <laughs> so I think I became a franchisee. I think it was August bank holiday last year, actually. Yeah. I was. Um, and I launched um, January this year. Gosh, gosh, that seems like ages ago, doesn't it? Tell us about your launch. We had a massive launch, didn't we? It was huge. So many people came. Oh, my first one. Yes. <laughs> my first one. Gosh, that was so nerve-wracking. I did too much food. I did too much of everything. But um, I learned my lesson there. Um, yeah, we did like marketing and picking it from the sort of beginning of December. And um, we had, um, I think, 60 people turned up in total. Um, and we just did a talk. It was my first talk. It was completely nerve-wracking. And... Um, we sold three different packages on that night. We had a three month, a two month, and a one month. Most people signed up for the three month, and I'd say most of the people are still with me actually now. That's, that's, that's nearly a year late, and they still uh, they joined up to my recent twelve week package. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, we just did a well, we did an array of foods. We did some curries, cauliflower rice, some sweet treats, and everyone went home with a good goodie bag. Uh, with little samples in. It was a that good was the nerve. first one. Completely nerve wracking. It was freezing cold. It was <laughs> it snowing. Was, it was. Yeah. Um, it took hours to get there. <laughs> it was wicked. But since no, then, okay. I, I mean, your business has just taken such. I mean, it's just completely taken off. Um, yeah. I mean, we did a launch a few weeks ago. We launched Brain Fit totally new for your area I mean there's nothing like it in the southwest and it was we both didn't know how it was going to go we didn't know if people was going to be responsive to it and you kind of changed how you put your kickstart together now you're going for much more on the health and longer term so kind of how has it evolved for you and why has it evolved that way Heather? Um, For me I think the word we were worried about the word detox they instantly thought that they couldn't um, achieve that they failed. So they thought, what was the point of starting? I don't know if I continue it. And um, so I just decided, listening to women, I was listening to them having problems with their sleep, their hormones, um, really bad PMS, and general brain fog. And that's when I decided to actually, on my next launch, I want to stay away from the detox. There's still the principles there, but I want women to choose their own routes. And I'd rather them start with just having a breakfast in the morning, the rest of the day not as good as what traditionally kickstart is, but at least they were starting the journey. And so far with that route, I mean, the results are amazing. And we don't have any scales in class at all now. It's all about um, how they're feeling. Um, the biggest thing, I'm kind of jumping on, was... No, I spoke to my ladies and I said, um, how, how are you going? How are you feeling? Um, are the scales going the right way for you? And one lady said to me, I don't care about the scales. I haven't, all I know is I feel really great. Oh, that's amazing. <gasps> so that was just really good. That was amazing to hear that. That was amazing. Um, and since then, you've trained to teach fitness Pilates and you've offered fitness Pilates as well. Is there much crossover? Have you got a lot of your fitness Pilates ladies going to KSFL or KSFL ladies going to fitness Pilates? Or is it very different? Or does it all fit together nicely? It all fits to get together really nicely. I think people, some people come to the gym and initially... And then they realise they're not really getting results. They're still not happy. Something's missing. They believe that just the exercise alone is going to lift everything. 
make them feel um, happy, energised, and they realise there's not, there's a missing link. So then they acquire, and then they sign up to Kickstart. So that makes us nicely. And I've got a lot of ladies who have come from Kickstart who are going into the Pilates, you know. Um, it's just a slower, a slower, more energised way. And I myself, um, I just think sort of being in my 40s, Teaching Pilates has made me that time to sort of slow down and I don't need to jump around really crazy to mm. feel good and I still get the same results. In fact, my mindset is better. I, teach, I sleep better teaching yeah. Pilates. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, Heather, so from a personal perspective, how have you found, because you haven't been in the fitness industry a long time, you didn't have any connections in the fitness industry, um, you kind of found me. How do you find being part of the franchisee group has that been really helpful supportive ideas how has that been helpful for you it's been um amazingly supportive actually there's days when um because obviously we've got our a group where we can uh, post some queries that we have and everyone supports each other I, I think without the group um i probably would have curled up in a ball especially at launch <laughs> <laughs> 